koi peseti e hiwe hiwa o ka kai lalahi i tonga ni o ku lahi ang e whainga maari ke nau mo ua he ngahi mahaki i kai ke pipihi. Tonga has been tackling NCT prevention and control for over 10 years. The Tonga NCT strategy for 2015 to 2020 builds on the expertise and knowledge of implementing partners while taking into account global guidelines to focus on good practice, feasible actions and address the whole population, but place a clear emphasis on young people and a healthy start to life. Koe whānau, koe amanaki a ngai au e kaha au. Ka pā e whakawā e ki nā tōlu āki a ngahi ulunga ngā tātonu. Te nā mui mui pāu ki ai, pe aku pehe i pe moe moe ui lelei. Ka pā e a koe i tātonu ki nā tōlu, ke ngahi tau o ngā moe ui lelei. Te nā moe ui a ki ai he tō ngā e nā moe ui. Ko hou tau hi wau ai ni, pe aku i kai haka maha ki tau hi. Pe aku o ke i whai pe a ngahi ngā ui. O ko ulava ki whai, a nghe ko e fō, ko e tawhi, ko e hua ngō ue, ko e hi ko wewe. Pe a ku tolo ngai e ku mo ui, he ku ngau ngau e whai ngai ngau e ko toa pe ko ia. O ko ki lava o whai, o whakahoko. Because all strategies rely on effective implementation, for the first time, Tonga's NCD strategy will be supported through a secretariat function, the Tonga Health Promotion Foundation, or Tonga Health, whose role is to support implementation effectiveness. Consistent with the Tonga Strategic Development Framework, Organizational Outcome 2.6, which calls for a stronger and more integrated approach by all parts of society to address non-communicable diseases. We believe in the power of multi-sectoral partnership and are quite confident that the partners that we're getting from uh, government and uh, the non-government organisations uh, in order to help us in combating uh, NCDs uh, at this time uh, will uh, help us uh, in, and, and be able to achieve our goal uh, in terms of uh, fighting NCDs here in Tonga. Yeah, we believe that integrated governance of this national strategy will uh, in fact strengthen Tonga's uh, fight against NCDs uh, since a lot of people are dying in a very young age and in a very high rate from NCD related diseases and um, those who are sick uh, from NCD related diseases are bringing in a huge, becoming a huge economic burden uh, to the government. So what better way to explain this approach to our work than through some of our valuable partners? Together we will work towards holding the number of babies exposed to the risk associated with being born to a mother with diabetes. Yes, Folau. Our unified work would result in the diabetes-related maternal and infant mortality and morbidity rate being reduced. And as we work together in collaboration, the goal of improving infant and toddler nutrition is definitely possible. My name is uh, Adelina Mafileo. I'm reciting at Fasimayafia Tungi. I'm very appreciative of what the Suka unit and the Sifei Tama unit are doing. This is my, I'm expecting my third child, and this is the, the first time for me to find out that um, I have diabetes just because of that pregnancy. And I'm very I'm thankful that we have the Suka unit and the, the team, they really helped me a lot uh, by telling me how important it is for me to stay healthy because of the child. And not only that, but uh, also they gave me a food diary 
the dance shoot uh, follow and record what I eat and then when I come down the following week and they um, give me very good advice what to cut down and what to eat more in order for me to stay healthy and, and uh, my last um, examination with them it shows that my sugar levels goes down so I'm very thankful for that. Increasing the accessibility and affordability to physical activity is one of our goals and with our partnership this is achievable. Yes Anna, we will be doing our part in the Ministry of Education by increasing the demand for physical activities for generating awareness in both primary and secondary schools. And is this like the partnership between Tonga Health and the Eating Vegetable and Fruits campaign? Exactly, it is called Mayanima. The children are taught to eat five portions of vegetables and fruits a day. So this is focused on healthy eating? Exactly. The primary school kids know what healthy eating is. We look forward to working with the integrated governance approach of the national strategy in its design and implementation. Kimo atu na kau ki he polokalama workshop ay tonga health o kung na ufai ay kakai tonga kena kena kai ay fuluti mo besta poloto o tolu peton ni ma ay aho ay ang mafata o tia he maketa la maho ay quality nilay mo ni ay timing kaku inga o kung kaya ay fangi complain ay kau customer ay price ko mau tu kuat tu, pang mau feng aleva, ke mau palani, ke mau tu efoki, ke mau humai, ay ay fruit ko, aku ki mama ange, ay ko tek tu ya, ay maketi nusila, ay elava leva ke mau atu, ay ngai mau inga ngai price, aku ki faatu iang ke kakai, kaku meke nau ilo i, he kai ke fulele ay kualiti efoi fruit ko ya, he compare ki efoi fruit ko nuk mau tu kuat timing ni. E time kon okto ay pule anga ay tute. Ok mau afot lewa ke mau omay ay tek wan peko e export fruit may no sila. As Mileafu mentioned, we are definitely working towards uh, achieving and to ensure that we have quality fruits for the people of Tonga. Our work with Tonga Health the line ministries, the private sector, and of course the farming communities on the Tonga agriculture sector plan is definitely going to help bringing more healthy foods for the people of Tonga. The recent setting up of the National Food Council is another milestone in working towards an integrated governance style to increase the availability, affordability, accessibility, and consumption of healthy foods and vice versa of unhealthy food items. Milimo Fralolo with the Fisheries Department is also working towards this in trying to get more availability fresh fish first for the people of Tonga and then for exports. As part of this very important national strategy to the Kingdom of Tonga, the Ministry of Commerce and Labour will be working on the following. Regulation and enforcement of the prices of regulated goods under the competent authority. Working closely with Food Authority on the enforcement of defective and expired goods. Joint efforts to promote the consumer awareness on its roles and responsibilities. This multi-sectoral approach will place special emphasis on increasing the demand for healthy foods and diets, and an effort to reduce demand for unhealthy foods by working hand in hand with various line ministries, commercial organizations, coordinated and facilitated by Tonga Health. Hi, my name is Pua. I'm a statistician by profession. 
I like my drink and sometimes I do binge drink. I have no health problems so I don't see any harm in having too much alcohol. To work hand in hand with Tonga Health on strategizing how to reduce alcohol consumption, it's a challenge and an encouragement at the same time. The Tong Drink and Drive campaigning that we have been doing in partnership with them over the past couple of years has been quite successful, both in terms of implementation and effectiveness. The Police Department of Tonga has actively been working on legal licensing and with its community, mobilization is one of our top priorities. Kau <laughs> We at the Ministry of Revenue and Customs are in full support of the National Non-Communicable Diseases Committee and Tonga Health Work. We understand that increasing the taxes on unhealthy foods and decreasing it on healthy foods has a direct impact on the revenue of the country, which has been widely spent for many years on the treatment of people with NCDs. Prevention is better than cure. We look forward to our unified and multi-sectoral work with the NNCDC and Tonga Health for a more active and healthy Tonga. The health department's goal as a whole will be that people with a high risk of NCDs are staying healthier longer. How will this be done? We aim to develop a policy outlining the Ministry of Health's essential package of realistic, prioritized, promotive, preventive, curative, rehabilitative, and palliative basic health services. Consequently, also, ensure that sufficient skilled workforce, infrastructure, and health financing mechanisms are in place to deliver those basic health services. For the National NCD strategy to be effective and accountable, a sound evidence-based monitoring and surveillance system is crucial. As part of Tonga Health's new role of Secretariat and Implementer of the National NCD Strategy, we are already working on strengthening the collection, collation and timely reporting of NCD data for improved policy and program decision making, as well as showing the impact of the implementation of the National NCD Strategy. Helen Keller once said, alone we can do so little, 
together, we can do so much. The National Strategy for Prevention and Control of Non-Communicable Diseases 2015-2020 is a result of unified, collaborative work of specialists from various relevant fields and has been put together with great care and planning. When I see the unified, multi-sectoral approach and integrated governance style of implementation processes that have been put in place with this strategy, and also the sense of ownership that each partner holds for their role in the big picture. I am confident that together we will win the battle against NCDs. It is with tangible hope that I look forward to being a part of a more active and healthy Tonga in the years to come. Malo Aupitonga.